Hi, hello friends. Welcome to Pulse Excel. So today in this session, we are going to be discuss about laws of thermodynamics. And uh, actually, uh, we aware about there is a uh, four laws of thermodynamics. Means uh, zeroth law of thermodynamics, first law of thermodynamics, second and the third law of thermodynamics. So now in this session, we are actually in briefly discuss this four laws. So we are just going to be started with the our first. Zeroth law of thermodynamics. So, what is the exact statement of your zeroth law of thermodynamics? Is if a body A is in equilibrium with body C. What I could say if your body A is in equilibrium with body C, and the next your body B is also in equilibrium with your body C. Right? Then what will happen? Then bodies A and B are in equilibrium with each other. So from this diagram we came to know that if your body A is in equilibrium body with C and body B if is in equilibrium with body C, then ultimately your A and B are bodies are what you are equilibrium with each other. And this zeroth law is also called as your law of thermal equilibrium because when uh, two bodies A and B have equality of temperature with a third body C, then in turn have equality of temperature with each other. So because of this reason, this zeroth law is also called as thermal equilibrium law because they are talking about the equality of temperature. So this law is very simple to understand. So after understanding the zeroth law of thermodynamics, we move towards the our next law that is your first law of thermodynamics. So what is your first law of thermodynamics? So first law of thermodynamics, it is also known as the law of conservation of energy. What we could say the law of conservation of energy because the first and the very famous statement for the first law of thermodynamics is energy can neither be created and nor be destroyed. What means what is the meaning of exactly this statement? Matlab Hamari energy hum nahi create karte ho, nahi usko destroy karte. That is as such present. So take a look for the second point of this law is whenever energy in one form disappears, an equal amount of energy in some other form must appear. So yapar is ka matlab ye hai ki agar hum kisi energy ko ek jagah se kam karte hai, right? तो सिमिलरली उतनी ही अमाउंट में वो एनर्जी दूसरी जगह पर अपीयर होती है राइट सो व्हाट एवर एनर्जी द डिसअपीयर फ्रॉम वन साइड द सेम एनर्जी दे शुड अपीयर फ्रॉम द अदर साइड ओके नाउ थर्ड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस लॉ शुड बी द एनर्जी ऑफ द आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम रिमेंस द कांस्टेंट एंड द नेक्स्ट विल बी द मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक इज द डेल्टा यू इज इक्वल टू क्यू प्लस डब्ल्यू सो दिस इज एक्चुअली योर मैथमेटिक expression of first law of thermodynamic which indicates here q means your heat w means here work and delta u means change in internal energy so here is uh, just look the one statement i am given to you there is an exact equivalence between the heat and work so what is the meaning so we are just going to be uh, simplified to this meaning by looking at this diagram so look uh, over here i just draw the two system so this should be your system a and this should be your system b if you are going to be supplying heat what if you are going to be supplying heat heat means what is your your q if you are going to be supplying the heat q to the system a then ultimately the your volume should be raised in system b what i am saying i am again going to explain if your system a we are going to be supplied some amount of heat to the system a then into the system b the volume goes on what you are increasing so what it could say so from this diagram actually basically we should understand if your q is positive then there is a net heat transfer into the system means your positive w means your positive work over here indicates the energy from the system we take out and positive q here adds the energy to the system means your work done by the system so what will be the your equation your equation should be q is equal to u1 minus u2 means your change in internal energy plus your positive 
work okay so this should be your internal energy and this should be in your internal energy goes on increasing into the system b so this is how we are going to be express your mathematical expression for the first law of thermodynamic and the another example for your um, first law of thermodynamic is that look at your suppose here will be the your sun so your sun will be provide the light energy and here is your one of the leaf diagram i am going to be plotting so what it indicates that your light energy your light energy change into the chemical energy means what is the meaning of this means your one form of energy converted into the another form of energy and this is the actual statement of your first law of thermodynamic i hope so you properly understand the first law of thermodynamic now after understanding the first law of thermodynamic we move towards the our next law that should be your second law of thermodynamic so what is the exactly second law of thermodynamic so looking here the statement of the second law of thermodynamic is the all the spontaneous process now here first uh, you should understand what is the meaning of spontaneous process spontaneous process means here all the naturally occurring process what i'm saying all the naturally occurring process are thermodynamic irreversible irreversible ka matlab ye hai ki ek bar aapka koi process ho chuka hai to wo process ho chuka wo baad mein return aane wala nahi so i am just going to be explaining this statement very properly uh, from this diagram so you just looking at here this is the diagram i just draw the one uh, juice uh, can here and from the next to the juice can here i'm just putting some of the ice so ice was here about in cold in condition and your lemon drink will be the in warm in a condition so after putting this both the means your juice can and ice together what will happen this lemon drink should be after certain time what will happen warmer goes to the cold down right and again what will happen after some time this warmer drink should be cold down but the cold ice should be what completely pull out matlab ye jo aapka ice completely kya hone wala hai melt hone wala hai whereas the jo aapka warmer drink hai wo kya hone wala hai cool to yahan par maine wo conditions aapko batayi hai acche se that warm is going to be cold but from cold to warm it is never going to be happen so what is the meaning the spontaneous heat flow is actually possible but the reverse heat flow doesn't happen spontaneously so this is the actually meaning that your all the spontaneous process will be irreversible but your spontaneous process should not be reversible okay now what will be the your second point of your second of thermodynamic is that it is impossible to convert heat completely into work without leaving some effect elsewhere so the meaning is that actually it is totally impossible to convert heat into work without compensation matlab yahan par hum jab pehle law mein hum ye baat karte hain ki aapki ek energy ka jo form hai ya fir koi energy jo एक जगह से डिसअपेयर हो रही है उतनी ही अमाउंट में दूसरी जगह पर क्या हो रहा है बट एक्चुअल में वो पॉसिबल नहीं है देर विल बी द सम ऑफ द कंपनसेशन शुड बी टेकिंग प्लेस तो ये जो आपका फर्स्ट लॉ का जो लिमिटेशन है वो हम लोग कवर करते हैं ओवरकम करते हैं उससे इन द सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक सो बेसिकली इन द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक एक्चुअली वी डजन से एनीथिंग अबाउट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फ्लो ऑफ हीट इवन वी डजन से एनीथिंग वेदर द प्रोसेस इज स्पॉन्टेनियस और नॉट राइट सो फ्रॉम दैट ड्रॉबैक्स वी आर गोइंग टू बी ओवरकम बाय यूजिंग दिस सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक सो अगेन सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक इट इज एक्चुअली बेस्ड ऑन द टू मेजर स्टेटमेंट दैट इज एंट्रोपी एंड द स्पॉन्टेनिटी सो द स्पॉन्टेनिटी इज एक्चुअली आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन टू यू नाउ द थर्ड वर्ड विच इज एक्चुअली मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज अ एंट्रोपी वर्ड विच इज इंट्रोड्यूस इन टू द सेकेंड लॉफ थर्मोडायनामिक एंड एंट्रोपी इज नथिंग बट द मेजरमेंट ऑफ द डिसऑर्डरनेस ऑफ द सिस्टम सो हियर द एंट्रोपी ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इज continuously increasing so this will be your second law of thermodynamic again i could say from this diagram if you could see properly this will be the ice blocks okay after certain time t this ice will be completely melt matlab pehle aapka ice jo ice tha wo properly arrangement mein tha right but after sun when you are going to be increasing the temperature your ice should be melt down matlab wo organized form se wo kya ho raha hai yahan par disorganize ho raha hai so order to disorganized form to ye jo measurement hai aapka us measurement ko hum bolte hai entropy to ye new word ye new state variable introduce kiya gaya aapke second law of thermodynamics now after understanding the properly second law of thermodynamic we move towards the our third law of thermodynamics so what is the statement for third law of thermodynamic it's very simple and easy the look at the statement over here the entropy of all crystalline solid may be taken as zero 
at the absolute zero of temperature so what is the meaning of this statement is that if your crystal will be perfect in manner means in a perfect crystal at absolute zero temperature there is a state of perfect order means they are going to be regularly arranged so that is zero disorderness right so the entropy must be zero so this is the statement is known as the third law of thermodynamic i hope so you properly understand our zero law of thermodynamic first law of thermodynamic second as well as third law of thermodynamic if you like this video please uh, don't forget to subscribe us and thanks for watching thank you